Welcome back. Let's find out if we've got anything wrong so far. For that, we go to TV's Andy Levy. So, Andy, what you got? Hey, you ever watch American Dad on Big Fox? No, I don't, Andy. Uh, I don't really watch it either. Greg, way too busy going out with the ladies. But my good friend Joey was watching reruns of it the other night. He noticed something. What's that? Well, there's a character on the show named Roger who's an alien. He's generally hairless, but in one episode he's wearing a brown wig and he... Uh, Michael, can we just put up the picture? It's... yeah. It's Bill. Yes, it is. It is Bill. I wish I had that kind of chest hair. Well, not really, Andy. One of those is a cartoon. Oh, I'll apologize I... to Bill, Greg. <laughs> That's not cool. I completely reject the idea that Andy you has a good actually... friend, Joey or otherwise. <laughs> you, sh you shaved right before the show, didn't you? Huh? Because you knew we were showing this picture. Yeah, you, I did. You shaved. <laughs> yeah. And I decided to add an Adam's apple. Oh, actually, yeah. he does have one. Is that a chin? No, it's his chin. Oh, okay. Yeah. Better Hawaiian shirt than I own. Yeah. Well, let's just keep this going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm, holy anyway, crap. I'm done, Greg. That was supposed to be a, maybe a 15-second thing. I turns know. into three what minutes. Hell, what the hell was that? I don't know. Call me right. up. <laughs> we can snip that later, right? Yes. All right. Uh, Alan West versus Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Uh, KT, I agree that Colonel West is the wrong guy to pick a fight with if the fight involves our enemies. But I agree with Bill's point. That doesn't mean Democrats shouldn't go after him if they want to, right? <laughs> Well, but, you know, the thing about Democrats going after him, he'll end up winning this fight because he's now made her look like such a dope that she's not going to do that again, neither her pal. She either looks like a dope or kind of a whiny lady. I, I'm not entirely sure that's true. I think he's taken a lot of heat over this, and I, I, don't, I don't know if he's coming out of this looking so great either. Uh, because why? Because you think he sounds sexist? You think he sounds like a bully? Why? I, I, it's not, I, I mean, I don't think Alan West cares what I think. No. But, well, don't say no so quickly. You don't, you don't know that. <laughs> well, I think the answer is you no. Don't, you don't know that. You don't know that for a fact. <laughs> but you've got, now you've got, uh, you've got a group of five Democratic congressmen have written a letter to Speaker Boehner, Majority Leader Cantor, Majority Whip McCarthy, saying that West's email was completely out of order and an offensive personal attack with a clearly sexist tone. You've got, you've got a whole bunch of people kind of condemning him for this. I know they're all on the left, so he may not care. But the fact is, it's not like, uh, it's not like the nation is rallying around Colonel West on this one. Well, but I don't think the nation is, is uh, rallying around the congresswoman either. Oh, I, I agree. I mean, I think it's a draw. And the unfortunate thing is what it does no. is it distracts attention from what's a, a really serious issue right now, which is that the countdown clock is ticking. And if you listen to some people, Armageddon is about 10 days away. Yeah. You know what the nation is rallying around? What's that? Boston Market. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, man. Uh, Joe, Joe, Colonel West would like a word with you after the show. Okay. okay. Uh, also, I don't believe that you ever worked in politics. Uh, I did, Andy. Don't believe you. I don't believe you work in politics. I and never, I, I never, see you on this I never, show every I never, day. I never claim to, though. Well, um, or news. This what, is news. I'm sorry. I get news in politics. What? I worked in news. I didn't work in politics. Wasn't uh -huh. politics just a gay uh -huh. bar? So, it, it was politics, yeah. with, an, it was politics yeah. with an X. It was a politics with an X. Isn't that like a clothing store? Yeah, I think it's yeah. probably, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's like the wet seal for guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it was, uh, well. spent, spent a year down there in the, uh, the old Austin, Texas legislator there, Andy. <laughs> really? Yes, I did. Legislature, you mean? Yeah. 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 Spent my time on the Senate floor, son. Did you? Got did my you hands now? dirtier than you ever did. Now, bless Sitting your heart. Sitting in your pretty little room. Bless your heart. <laughs> Uh, Kinsey, you said the problem with Wasserman Schultz was her tone and her posture and that West was right to go after her, which is a fair point, but it just seemed like what she said was just kind of politics as usual these days. I know, but that makes me sad, and I think that that's I unfortunate, and I wish that they would be more factual and that it would just be... Um I, I mean, I really do think that she had a great point, and it's something that we should all c consider. But I, at once she opened her mouth, I was done with her. You know, whereas I wish I would, if she would have said it differently, I would have been like, wow, well, I really would like to put some energy in investigating that further. Right. But because it was so catty, I was like, this is a nasty argument. I, I immediately wanted nothing to do with it. Mm, fair enough. Uh, by the way, Wes <laughs> told a Huffington Post reporter that he apologized to to Congresswoman Wasserman Schultz, but his office tells Fox News that's not true, and her office says it's absolutely not true. Yeah, it's a false story. Yeah. It's not a false story. I listened to the audio tape. He did tell the reporter, he said, clearly says, I apologized. Uh, so the whole I, thing's weird. I thought everybody denied it, but whatever. But I, Yeah, but he did say it. I've heard that. You're right that both sides are denying it, but he also did say it. It's very weird.
It's so weird that a politician would say something then deny right. it. <laughs> yes. Right. Here's the deal. It shouldn't, Wes should have written the email, made himself feel better, and then deleted it without sending it. Mm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, but he's a stand-up guy. If he feels that way, he's right. going to tell you, and he's okay. not going to pull his punch. All right. Good for him. And he's also new to politics. He'll start pulling his punches in about six months. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Steelers running back, Rashard Mendenhall, suing champion. Kinsey, couldn't agree with you more. If you want to say whatever you want, don't take endorsement contracts, right? Yes, sir. Thank you for agreeing with me. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Joe, you, you said you're always torn about things like this, which is also fair. Is it, this is similar to what happened to Gilbert Gottfried after Japan, isn't it? Uh, yeah. When he lost, you're talking about the Affleck thing? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's the old argument of should he said that? Well, that's an objective argument that you can have, but... Uh, you know, in these again, these extreme examples come to the surface, and we go, "That's horrible! That's horrible!" But there are people saying far less insightful stuff, and they're being reprimanded constantly. You know, yeah. if actors and musicians can't go on TV and express themselves without getting the you know a slew of hate mail. Thank God for that. You know, for having it. But you know, it'd be great they if deserve they just, it, Joe. It'd be great if they just. <laughs> wouldn't it be great if they just couldn't express themselves? Period. Yes. Well, it's the yeah. price you pay, that's though. It's the price, price you pay. Yes. Their that's bank, the worst their argument. bank accounts that's the are worst. so much bigger than ours. You know what? It's the worst argument. I'm so tired of that argument that just because you that you, you exist in the public eye that you're not allowed to have an opinion about something. You it's, are. You're, it's, you're, you are. You you're just allowed have to, to have an opinion about, about it, it, but you also might pay the price. And, yeah. and the everything problem needs is people, to be strategic. The people think they can say whatever they want and not pay a price. That's not what free speech means. Well, yeah, free speech, as Larry Flint once said, is not saying the thing you want to say. It's hearing the thing you don't want to hear and, and dealing with it. And that's why the do, part why of do, people don't Why do understand. comedians always have to cite Larry Flint? Is there a better person than him? Because that's the only person they read. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and I use the word read loosely. Yes, yes. yes. Right, every guys. single time. Every single time. It's always yeah. Larry Flint. All right. Well, yeah. what I would like to see but, is a study done on how much money Twitter's made for people via promotion and stuff like that versus how much money it's lost via people getting fired well, here's and things the deal. like that. I bet Bill, you it's lo lost more. Bill, here's the deal. The article says that Mendenhall's tweets prompted significant anger leading to a statement by the Steelers team president distancing the organization from his remarks and of course he lost the endorsement. But his number of Twitter followers doubled. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> so it's win I think it's win-win here. Yeah, it yes. is definitely win-win. Yes. Yep. Uh, are playgrounds too safe? Greg, you said some researchers are questioning the value of safety first playgrounds, which prohibit stuff like the jungle gym, overhead ladders, trapeze rings, and broken glass mountain. Yes. <laughs> I guess that's better than having broke back mountain on a playground. Mm. Oh, <laughs> why? Why? What's wrong with you, Andy? What do you mean? What's wrong with you? Why would you want, you wouldn't want that on a playground? What? Why, because the people surface having, is rough and people, it might hurt your knees? Yes. Oh You're a sick God. man. Also, people shouldn't be having sex on playgrounds. All right, okay, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah. Fair enough. You had, to, you had to walk me through that, Andy. I thought, I thought that was kind of obvious. Well, no, I just I do, don't know what movie you're referring to. It, oh. You Wait, never, I said it was a movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, free birth control for everyone. Bill, you read a bunch of stats about how much taxpayers pay because of unintended pregnancies as an argument for why conservatives should be for this so-called free birth control for everyone. Yeah. Or you could just be opposed to taxpayers paying for any of it. Yeah, but that doesn't see, solve see the problem. See what I problem. did there? See what I, I did there? See how I shrugged my shoulders? <laughs> I went like that. I'll do that. Well, yeah, yeah but you're still going to have the problem of these unwanted kids having a horrible life of going to juvenile detention centers. Yes, but I won't have to pay for, for them. I will not have to pay for them. Well, so you don't want to pay for the jails either. That's I don't, amazing. I don't, I don't want to pay for it. I, I, I want everything to be given to me for free. Gotcha. <laughs> I chose to stick with reality, but I like where you're going with this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I would also Thank add you. that I believe that you can have sex on playgrounds as long as it's in the privacy of your own home. <laughs> okay. Build your own playground, people. I did. Yeah, all right. You just lost your endorsement deal. Yeah. <laughs> or did I gain yeah. one? Yeah, he's, uh, he actually endorses uh, home playgrounds. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's quite a. It's what a Andy had said earlier win win, and I quote you on that one. Yes, yes you do. That's, you uh, me, you, thank you for quoting me co correctly, sir. Well, you, uh, you coined that phrase, didn't I, you, win win? I, I believe I did. Yes. yes. That, was, no, that was your Vietnamese houseboy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am done. And so you are, my friend. And so are you. Yes. I. Coming up. He's probably one of the funniest people on the planet. Yep, Joe DeRosa. We'll be talking about one of the funniest people on the planet, Dane Cook. <laughs> Don't forget to check out the brand new Fox News iPad app. It has lots of cool features to keep you connected. Get Fox News alerts, stream live video, and watch the latest red eye clips on your iPad for free. I'm about done doing this uh, tease. Can we do something new? <laughs> Download it. Download it at foxnews.com iPad.